what's going on everybody it is your favorite auntie mo and we are here for the review to the new show tokyo tony's finding love asap this is season one episode one i don't know what the name of it is y'all <laughs> if you caught my instagram stories if y'all are not following me on my social medias they are down in the description box below please follow me um, Instagram is moyo512, Twitter is nikishine 512 and I have a Facebook page as well, Mohambone TV. But I gave y'all a couple of little clips from the show earlier today, well, really came on about an hour, two hours ago. Y'all, this damn show, picture Flavor of Love and I Love New York, but with a bunch of old schools. Put them together and you have Tokyo Tonys. Find and love ASAP. Y'all, if this was not the most ghetto, most ratchet, hood ass, hilarious piece of fuck tree, I'm just staring at the TV the whole time like, what in the nigga them is going on here? This shit was crazy. This shit, I, I was not expecting to be rolling as much as I was because the shit was hilarious. I couldn't believe what the fuck I was watching on my damn TV. But, I don't want to waste any more damn time. So, hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm damn sure ready to give it to you. I got my Merlot. Hopefully y'all got something to drink on to get ready to laugh at this shit. So, let's get right on up into this review. All right, y'all. So, Tonio says she been single for three years and now she out there looking for a man. But side note, what the hell is, uh, what's his name? Wasabi? Wasi? I thought that was her man. They look like they could be a cute couple together if you ask me, but y'all ain't asking me. But, it started off like any other of these dating shows, y'all know how it was on Flavor Love and I Love New York, how they have them come walking down the little driveway or whatever, and they come to the front of the house, everybody outside with their goddamn bags and shit. Over half of these mofos was actors. It's, you could already tell, over half of them was actors. Ain't no damn way. Even if you did go there for an audition, they told you, um, you finna be auditioned to be on the date with Tony O, Tokyo Tony. They wouldn't have, girl, no. Uh, half of them there was damn actors. So, they get there to the house, and they all looking at the house. Next thing you know, big Lyrica G come walking out. Summertime love Lyrica G from uh, Love and Hip Hop. She comes out. She's kind of like the little hype girl or whatever, right? Like, okay, everybody's here. Y'all are here for my bestie, Tonio. And um, if y'all wonder why I call her Tony, uh, Tonio, when I used to do my reviews for uh, The Real Black China, I just called her Tonio. Tonio sounds better to me than Tokyo Tony. Tonio, that's what the hell her name is. That, uh, that's what the, what the hell we calls her around here. So, anyways... You know, Big Lyric G come out, she meeting everybody, and she's like, y'all are here for my bestie, Tonio, and hopefully y'all can handle her, because she a bad motherfucker, she don't play. Now, I just want to let everybody know right now, Auntie already cusses a lot in my videos. I'm going to be cussing a lot more, not as much as they did in this doggone show, because, baby, every other word was motherfucking this and motherfucking that and all of this. This... They too old to be this ratchet on this show, y'all. It's crazy. But she meeting everybody. You get to see, baby, it's a whole motley crew of crazy weirdos out there. One dude, 70 years old, look like ZZ Top. Another dude said he fresh out of prison, been out of jail for six months, was locked up 15 years. What? It's another white dude, look real dirty. Like, um, he just, he wake up every morning, just shake his goddamn head and say, like, all right. Let's go start the fucking day. That's what he looks like. And then you got um, a couple. It's a Nigerian dude that's there. Some Rico Suave Dominican dude that's there. Some bisexual young white chick that's there. None of them look like they was there for Tonio. Except for one guy. Oh, this one guy. He was an old cat daddy. Pimp your mom and her sister them back in the day. Pimp named Slick Back <laughs> used to drive a diamond in the back with a sunroof top, hitting the scene with a gangster name. Oh, this was somebody's old goddamn cat daddy that was there. Baby, he looked like drugs took a hold of his life for a long time, and they had a hold on his life, and he's wearing it all 
control over him. He been through some things. You can tell. But anyways, I'm getting off subject. So she's like, you know, what can you bring to the table? Who are you? Who are you? This big lyric is still out there talking to everybody, whatever, right? Side note, side note. The old white dude, ZZ Top, that motherfucker bought a tub of fresh baked cookies. He bought cookies. I said, what the fuck is... So, y'all, they finally go in the house. It's a nice little old Airbnb. It was popping and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, they go in the house, and they all still standing there at the front. Next thing you know, Big Lyrica G introduces Tonio. She comes down the stairs, girl. Cha, Tonio, Tonio, Tonio. Y'all, she crazy as hell. She ends up coming down the stairs, whatever, right? Soon as she look at everybody... <laughs> She said, what the hell I was thinking, what everybody was thinking when they seen this shit. Where you get these motherfuckers? Who the hell is these? She start calling everybody out. You old as hell. You look gay. You, your face don't favor nobody. What is you doing here? Girl, is you lost? She starts calling everybody everybody out like she ain't got no goddamn shame she don't give a damn about hurting your feelings or none of that so after she introduces herself to everybody she tells all of them basically dismisses them tell them i'll go look for your rooms and shit y'all this shit was hilarious because like it's just like flavor of love and finding new york but it's with your daddies and your grandpa and grandma and them so picture all these old cats running through a house looking for a room y'all Really? And then on top of that, the rooms, it was a bed and a couch in there. So, excuse me, y'all. I've been drinking. This Merlot got a bitch. Perfect like a motherfucker. But the rooms are one person can sleep in the bed, one person can sleep on the couch, and the other person got to sleep on the floor. And that's you okay with sharing a bed with another dude. So, it was... <laughs> y'all got to watch this shit. Because the shit was just... It, this was fucking ridiculous, Okay. While they out there looking for their goddamn rooms, Big Lyrica G and Tonio, they had Tonio's room sitting on the bed talking about all the dudes that she done bought up there through the house, right? Big Lyrica G like, look here, Tonio, you gonna have to give these men a chance because you never know. Tonio like, what the hell am I gonna do with all these ugly motherfuckers? Why you bring all these dudes here? Ain't nothing I can do with none of these. They all old, they all out of shape. I can't do nothing. I was thinking the same thing. Like, Tonya, I ain't gonna lie. I was right there with you. Like, girl, where y'all pick this funky bunch from? Don't not a damn now, now the one of them look like they belong there. Now with her wild ass. That's why I say, hun, well, Simon needs to be together because they look like they the perfect fucking match. He crazy. He like, he can handle her goddamn ass. So, y'all, Tonio was like, look here, I can't deal with these old crazy ass niggas that you done bought up in here. They don't look right to me. None of them. Next thing you know, y'all know what Tonio did, bitch. Tonio then starts rubbing on Lyrica G leg. Was like, ooh, so I like these pants. Baby Lyrica G was like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Bitch, I'm not here for you like that. She tries to come on to Lyrica G. Not saying nothing against neither one of them because they're very two beautiful women, but I'm not here for that. I'm not here for it. Later on, Big Lyrica G, Tokyo Tony, and Black China, they all sitting in the back. She's got them all lined up just like in the flavor of love and finding New York. Got them all lined up because she finna give them all names, right? First dude come up to the stage is an old cat daddy. <laughs> Pimp name Slickback. Baby, he comes up there first up to get his name. He says his name is Mark. Girl, Tonio starts clowning on his ass. She like, let me see your best stroke. Let me see your rubbing. He like, oh, hold on. <laughs> I can't do all of that. Trying to like, baby, mom, uh, mama, you're going to put his whole fucking hip out. Don't do that man like that. Child, she gives this man a nickname, Romy Rome. He like, oh, yeah. Romy Rome sound nice like he riding in the, in the Cadillac with a bunch of holes in the back. On the front seat, whatever they want to sit. I'm like, what the fuck? Next up, you got the bisexual dude. His name is Robbie. He said he's a cook and he's a restaurant owner. Tonio asked him, so what are some things that you into? He said, oh, I like cooking up, you know. A little bit of the both, you know, little boys, little girls. You know, I like all that. Tonio like, oh, so you an old freak nasty motherfucker. You know what? We gonna call you Cotton. 
If I need something wiped up, we gonna call you Cotton. I really didn't get what Cotton meant, but she named the motherfucker Cotton. I was like, okay, Cotton. Baby, the next dude up, this shit had me rolling. Next up was convict dude, right? The one I said he only been out for six months. He was locked up for 15 years. Soon as he came up, she was like, first time I need to ask you one question. What the hell you go to jail for? He was like, damn like that. She like, damn like that. So nigga, what happened? He said he got locked up 15 years for selling drugs, right? He he wasn't a bad looking guy. He was really handsome, but child, just the way she was riding on his ass. She didn't get his nigga no name. She named him number 14381. <laughs> that shit had me rolling. He was like, damn, she ain't trying to get to know my personality and none. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> child, next up was a little dirty, dirty, nasty head white boy surf instructor. Soon as he came up, she was like, uh-uh, this nigga name is no name. Cause you have no name. You need to get the fuck out of here. I said, damn, Tonyo. She was riding on these motherfuckers left and right, and this shit had me goddamn rolling. No name. Next. <laughs> Next up was like the little Cuban salsa dude or whatever. She asked him to show him a little dance. He did like a little salsa dance or whatever. She named this motherfucker Mr. Salsa. Next up was this big black dude. She named this nigga Big Nigga. <laughs> Big nigga, god damn. Next up was this other dude. He had on this like little Hawaiian looking shirt. Soon as he walked up, she was like, nigga, I can't stand you or that fucking ugly ass shirt. <laughs> she was going off on these dudes. He was some average looking guy or whatever. So he was like, um, she was like, you know, you like you young enough to date my daughter. What the hell is you doing here anyway? Where's your daddy? This motherfucker said, hold on, daddy. This nigga there with his daddy. Um, Tonyo ends up giving him the name Lil D and give his daddy name Big D. Lil D and Big D. I said, this is a goddamn shame. Next up is some little dark-skinned dude. His name is Robbie. She say he ugly as hell, child, so she named his ass Papa. I say, damn, that's fucked up. Papa? Then it's this other little straight and narrow L7 white guy. She named this nigga Good Credit. <laughs> Next up was a little white girl that was there. Her name is Debbie. Child, she names her ass Rainbow. <laughs> she ain't put no thought into these names what so fucking ever. I'm like, really, Tonyo? That okay, we just gonna name this bitch um Rainbow. Okay. Next up is this other dude named Demetrius. He's real big, tall, dark, handsome, and all of this. Baby, she names him FOS. She was like, mm-hmm, yeah. I'm going to name you F.O.S. He's like, F.O.S.? He's like, nigga, because you full of shit. Get your ass on to the back. She was clowning these niggas left and right. I felt bad for all of them. If I was one of them dudes, I'd be like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm out of here because she finna say something about my goddamn ass. And I want to haul off and hit in the throat. Not in front of the goddamn cameras and all of that. That shit was crazy. Next up, it was some light-skinned dude. He thought he was some pretty boy. He had a little Jerry curl or whatever in his head, a little S Ultra Perm or whatever. His name was Jason. I think she, what she called this motherfucker Tweety Bird? Because he was high yellow and he had a yellow ass button down collar shirt. I said, yeah, that sounds about right. Next up was the old white dude. He named, she named this motherfucker Cookie Monster. The old 70 year old that bought that tub. Hey, bitch, it was a tub. Not a plate of cookies. Not even a little jar of cookies. This motherfucker bought a tub like he went to walmart and bought a tub and bought some goddamn cookies that was fucking weird so she named his ass cookie monster i'm like yeah that sounds about right too last up it was some real weird undertaker looking dude this motherfucker looked weird as hell what was his name i don't even know what the hell his name was child soon as he walked up he had like the scully on he was holding a goddamn candle up under his beard the damn they set the shit on fire she was like oh no hell no nah, nigga I don't give a damn what your name is. Peace out. R.I.P. You can get the hell on the body here. Child, then he went on the side of the house. He was like, I can tell when I'm not wanted here. This is bad energy. So he walks away, goes to the side of the house. It's a little trap door. He goes in through the trap door on the side of the house. That's when I said that shit right there, that was acting right there. It was real dumb. Because everybody was kind of looking dumbfound. I'm like, okay, what the hell just happened? So this nigga just went through a trap door on the side of the house and he just disappeared. And 
the fuck? It ended really weird. Because that was the end of the episode right there. The rest was just highlights of how the rest of the season is going to be, y'all. I wasn't expecting for it to be as funny as it was. Hopefully, all the rest of the episodes, if they are this funny, I will continue to bring you the review because this first goddamn episode had my ass rolling. If y'all seen it, if anything that I missed out, y'all already know. Put it down there below. Let me know. If there's anything else up in there, drop it down. Let me know. Let's chit-chat about it. If you seen it, child, this shit was hilarious. Um, Whatever you do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, subscribe to my social channels. I mean, um, my social medias. <laughs> and Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.